Hello everybody, and welcome, finally welcome, to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Man, this game I've been looking forward to for some time now, since I realised when the release date was, and uh, it's finally here. It always comes around, like, take Skyrim for instance, it's so far away, November is place blooming March, we'll talk about November, but it'll soon come round, and before you know it we sat here, thinking, what the hell were we fussing about? Um, but yeah, it's finally here, Dragon Age 2. Let's play. Now, I'm just going to have a couple of uh, warnings, really, I suppose. First of all, this is a game I'm playing um, because I want to play the damn game. But I want to LP it blind, so I'm going to be playing it a few hours a day, which means that when I start uploading the videos, I'm going to be far in advance of the videos that I'm uploading. So any advice you give won't be taken because I'll be long past, you know, as I say I'm recording well in advance. So you feel free to give me advice because when I play the game a second time through I can take that advice and, and apply it to my own, uh, for my own fun. But for the purpose of this, of this LP, any advice you give, don't be alarmed if I don't take it. I'm not ignoring you, I'm just, I'm just recording far in advance because I want to play the game and it's going to take an umpteen number of hours to finish. Uh, so that's the first warning. The second warning is it is a blind LP, so I'd appreciate it that you know if you didn't post any spoilers, you know if you know certain particular plot lines or stuff like that, please don't post it and spoil the game for me. If you want to post where any particular items might be, that might assist me. Or if you want to post any particular combat advice, stuff like that, that's fine. But when it comes to plot lines and oh, don't go there because so and so says this and this happens and oh, everything goes up in smoke, I don't want to know stuff like that. Uh, and if you do regularly do that on purpose, you will be blocked. Because I don't want the game spoiling. So that's the second warning. And the third warning uh, is uh, it is blind and therefore it's uh, going to be slow. It's going to be a slow and steady pace. I am going to read codexes. I am going to take a while to learn the keys. I am going to be pausing a lot in combat. It's not going to be a very fast paced, action packed, through hack and slash like Dragon Age 1 was. <laughs> because I played that game before, so this is going to be a totally different pace, a lot more steady, a lot more in-depth, and there's going to be a lot of stuff that I need to do. Uh, initially I will keep the codex reading on the LP, if people think it's just a little bit too much, I can edit it out of future videos, but I will go be reading them all, pretty much. Uh, and that's really the health warnings. Don't post spoilers, any advice you post, you might not see it initially, because uh, I'm recording far in advance, and it's going to be a, maybe a little bit slow paced, especially in the early stages when I get used to it. Uh, I'm sure it'll speed up once I get used to certain things. So that's it. The health warning's over. I'm sure you're itching to start, so without further ado, welcome everybody to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. I'm sure we'll get a nice, lovely video motor start. No, we don't. I have to pick my character straight away. Oh, what shall I, whatever shall I pick? Oh, I think you all know. A male mage! Why the hell not? Spins his staff in such a fashion. Do I have to confirm something? <laughs> Mages can buy arcade spells, he'll pour some magic from their staves. Yes, we know that. Ah, this looks familiar. I seem to remember a lot of smoky right. Yeah, there you go. There he comes. Smoky writing. Of course, this was the uh, video. Oh, video mode from the demo. So we have seen it, but hey, I'll watch it again. Bioware production. I've had gentler invitations. <laughs> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Uh, which one? You know exactly why I'm here. Uh. Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Not a waste Everything. of a good book. Start at the beginning. Wee! 
smoke, boy. We will have to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, child. Looks like a fight. Be ready. Oh my golly gosh! Why do I have the fraps counter at the top of the Never mind. Right, quick, got an enemy to attack. Okay, I'll just get used to the keys here. PC keys, a little bit different. Okay. Attack! Winter's Blast! Damage doesn't slow you up a blast! Body bar! Right! Winter's Blast then! Whee! I got a fireball! Oh yeah, spacebar does pause the actions for me. So if I want to do a bit of pausing and tactical thing in me bobs. There we go! Good. We can't keep this up forever. Don't worry. Neither can they. Perhaps we'll be lucky and they'll run out of darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I give them a taste of my blade? No. Why should I let you do it? When I'm here. Allow me. Allow me. Okay, we're ready for more action. Experiment with your other abilities. Right, you, my friend, are going to suffer the wrath of a crushing prison. Feel the pain. Oh, split in half. Okay, we've got them coming after us, so we'll knock them back with a wee... Mind Blast. There we go. Oh. Do I need to be facing him to do that? Wee, catch me if you can, mongrels! Oh, I sense an AoE attack! Ah, get off me! They're coming! There we go, cone of cold! <laughs> As you can see, I'm much more accomplished on the PC version than I was on the Xbox demo. I feel like, oh, big mama's here! Howdy! What is up with your teeth? Yeah, I find it a lot easier to control on the PC, which is good. It's good. Anyway, enough of my chit chat, we have a ogre to kill! Crushing prison. Uh, about there. Oh, look how slow he's running. Aha! Right, playing all the tackle do for now. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew him even before he became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where he is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. How did you guess? The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to him, tell me everything you know. 
You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. The whole story. And nothing but the story. Yes, my character is going to be... Obviously, it's a mage. Oh, I'm, I'm here now. I can explain it now. <laughs> How perfect. Uh, my character is going to be a mage, but he's going to be a good mage. Um, none of this stealing and all that sort of palaver, like in past LPs, fallouts, and uh, etc., where I've been quite an evil character fable. I'm going to revo resort back to my usual uh, style of playthrough, uh, and it's going to be good. Maybe in certain situations he might be a little bit ruthless at times, but on the whole he's going to be a good guy. Always eager to help a fellow person out. Um, and he is a mage, I believe he is a... what's the word? The outcast mages? I've forgotten now. One of the mages that aren't part of the Chantry that are on the run. An apostate, that's the one. He's an apostate mage, and therefore I'm going to try and keep it in, balance, in line with that so that any codexes I come across that make any reference to Chantry or religion, I'm not going to read them. He's not interested in Chantry nonsense, any religious crap. He's not bothered. But he will read any codexes on weaponry, on culture, on different races. He's interested in that sort of thing, but nothing to do with religion. So any religious codexes will be skipped. Uh, as for presets, I will not bother. Or do I have to? Oh, right, it gives us a blank. Gives us a blank canvas. There we go. Now, do I sit here for the next 15 minutes playing to get the perfect character? Or do I create the perfect character and uh, stop recording? I think that is best. I don't think you want to sit here watching me tweak an eyelash, you know, making his nose wider giving him a big set jaw. Uh, so I'm going to temporarily pause it and uh, resume once I have his name and his appearance. So stand by, I'll be back soon. 